Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Salutations to the elect, double honors to the apostles of GMS that rule and teach well in the Holy Scriptures. Excuse me, and I found another article for you, brothers, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And the name of this article is called Chinese Troops to Join Russian Marines in Syria Soon, says report. Now, the reason why I am bringing out this article here is for various reasons. Well, for one, uh, basically the Lord is gathering all of the world's superpowers over to the Middle, to the Middle East. Okay, where uh, you already got Russia and Syria, you already got United States troops over there in uh, the Middle East. Okay, you already got uh, and uh, now now you got a uh, Chinese the China uh, the Chinese gooks are uh, sending their troops over to aid Russia in helping uh, Bashar al-Assad to stay in power. So, I mean, basically, the, the Lord is, is, is gathering those nations over there in the Middle East. And then I'm gutter rats in the land of Israel. They even said that, that they're sending troops into Syria because Iranian forces were spotted on the borders of Syria. So the, the, the Lord is doing it. The Lord is he's gathering those nations together over there in the Middle East. OK, uh, so you got the Russian troops over there in the Middle East. You got the United States troops over there in the Middle East. You got uh, you, you got Chinese troops heading over there uh, to the Middle East. And now you got them gutter rats in the land of Israel sending troops over there in uh, Syria. So it's it's all coming to a close. But um, it says after the Russian and Iranians, Chinese gook, gook troops reportedly reported uh, reportedly are teaming up with the Syrian regime. The word regime means a group in charge of a uh, a group in charge of a small organization. However, the word regime is also another name for government or a smaller government. So the the the, the uh, Syrian government forces in what is being termed as the deal that will allow President Bar Ashad to stay in power. A report claims that a Chinese naval v vessel carrying dozens of military advisors is on its way to Syria and the Chinese troops will then join the uh, uh, Salakia. The Chinese Gook troops will then join the hundreds of Russian soldiers. So, I mean, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, um, if I can, I believe that's Isaiah, the 34th chapter. I could be wrong, though. I'm going to try to get that real quick, though. You see, I, Isaiah, or actually, finding it will actually be much quicker this way. I'm going to type in slaughter. Because that's what's going to happen over there in the Middle East anyway. And I'm going to scroll down here. Give me a second, brothers. Jackpot. Now, um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, Let me see. Okay, yeah. So this this is it right here. As I thought, it was the thirty fourth chapter, but I wasn't for sure, and I didn't want to waste any time. Uh, this is Isaiah chapter thirty four, verse one. Come near, ye nations, to hear, and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein. Now, I have to break this down because uh, a dumbass he'll really think that the earth has ears. And, and is listening, okay? When it says let the earth hear, it's talking about the world, the people, the people dwelling upon the face of the earth, and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. And this is the key point. He have utterly destroyed them. 
He have delivered them to the slaughter. So you see, the reason why the Lord is gathering the world's superpowers over there to the Middle East is because the Lord is going to deliver them to the slaughter. So it's going to be one big bloody war over there in the Middle East. Their slain shall be cast out and their stink shall come up out of their carcasses. So there's going to be so many dead bodies over there in the Middle East from this coming conventional from this coming conventional World War Three. That is going to be a foul smell over there. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Okay. Uh, now, it's not talking about the mountains melting with blood for all you idiots out there. It's talking about it's it's going to be so much blood over there that it's it's going to. It's In other words, it's going to be a lot of a lot of dead bodies and a lot of blood is going to be coming out of dead bodies and all the host. And so it's going to be it's going to be puddles of blood over there in the Middle East, huge puddles of blood, maybe even a river of blood over there. And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. And it's talking about the nuclear destruction and the heavens shall be rolled together as a scroll, because when a nuclear missile explodes, the mushroom cloud spreads throughout the, the skies of the earth and all the hosts of heaven shall fall down. OK. Now, let's not get stupid now. It ain't talking about the stars in outer space is going to fall down towards the earth. When it says all the host of heaven shall fall, it's talking about it's talking about these buildings that all, all the shit you see, all, all, all these buildings, the shit that you see around the world or, or over there in the parts of the Middle East. OK, and a matter of fact, namely here in America, because the nuclear destruction is going to mainly take place in America. When Russia and these other countries which hate America shoots nuclear destructions on America. So uh, all these buildings and everything you see, they're going to be blown away and, and, and completely destroyed by the explosion of the nuclear missiles. As the leaf fallen from off the vine and as a falling from the fig tree. So Lord willing, I'll continue to keep you brothers informed. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this conventional World War III happens soon. With that, I'm going to say Shalom to the elect.